Hello everyone. Today uh, I'm going to create a Shopify private app and I'm going to create an API key and secret so that we can use it. So let's get started. First I'm going to create a Shopify account. Okay, let's give a password. I use a password generator to generate a strong password. I give a name, create my store. You've already, uh, you already have an account with Shopify, login uh, to create a new store. Okay, there's creating my Shopify account. Okay, uh, refresh this page. Let's see. Let me go to my mailbox to see if I have any emails. Okay, so here is a two step. Tell us a bit more about yourself. Okay, are you selling? I'm selling courses. some address here okay the valid website store i put up everything and create my shopify account okay great uh, it's my free plan, so uh, I just need to create a product. Add a product. Um, AWS course. AWS essentials for beginners. Put a message active and save. That's it. Congratulations. Continue setting up your store. Okay. So um, I've set up my store. These are my products. I can go to that product online. That's took, I think, five minutes maximum. Okay, if I visit my website front end, let's see how it looks. Okay, this is my website, WS with a thick. Okay, that's good. Now um, I want to create a private app. So what is a private app? Private app is app that stays inside your store. And you can create API key and secret. And using that API key and secret, you can create products. So I go to apps. Now these are public apps, and I'm going to create a private app. So manage your private apps. Click here. Private apps are currently disabled. You need to enable that. Let's enable. I tick all those check boxes. Enable private app. Okay. Private app is enabled. Now I'm going to create a private app. Private app name, uh, test. Uh, that's the developer name. That's my email address. Product uh, read and write, both. Webhook API version 2020 10 latest. Allow this app to access the storefront data using storefront API. That's good. Okay. Let's now save. 
create app. That's it. I think I have created my app. This is my API key and there's a secret here. This is my example URL, shared secret, and that's it. So we can use now different kind of SDK, software development kits uh, to access this API and using that uh, SDK, we can actually create uh, products from our applications. So that's it guys for today. In the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to create a, a simple script with Python so that I can use this API key to create products in my Shopify account. So thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.